Hey guys, in this video we're going to talk about estrogen modulating drugs. So specifically, we're going to talk about SAMs, aromatase inhibitors, and lastly, luprolide. Speaking of aromas, oh geez, what is that stink? Looks like this examiner has shown up to clinic, but man, he hasn't taken a shower in maybe forever. Who's that? Oh yeah, Anna. She's in the clinic and she's getting harassed by these osteoclast classmates? Oh, what a pain. Who's that in the back? I don't know that guy. Who's that eccentric fresh Frenchman, also known as Le Professionnel, or Le Pro? Looks like he's shown up to work late again. What's going on in the front there? It's the religious right. They've shown up to do a little sermon. Let this sermon remind you of the serum group of drugs, also known as the selective estrogen receptor modulators. Now in this video, we're going to talk about three major serums. Um, specifically, we're going to talk about uh, tamoxifen, uh, riloxifen, and clomiphen. So notice that we all have the same sort of ending. It's the fen suffix. So let this fence remind you of that sen, uh, fen, fen suffix of the serums. And let these mocking kids remind you of tamoxifen. So they're mocking behind this tan fence. Tan mocking fence. Tamoxifen. Furthermore, notice that this fence is holding back these osteoclast classmates from antagonizing these people trying to enter the clinic, and that's on both sides. So we see uh, this fence holding back this crazy osteoclast classmate. Notice there's bones on the ground also to signify this osteoclast action. So this is a reminder that uh, these serums have both tamoxifen and raloxifen have an estrogenic effect in bone. That is to say that they are, uh, they block the um, development of osteoclastic precursors. Over here on the tamoxifen side, we see that these guys are protesting with what looks like a red uterine structure. Tamoxifen has an estrogenic effect in endometrial tissue. So it seems like these guys are the pro-life guys because they want that endometrial tissue to proliferate, give support life. On the other side, we can see this empty uterus, and that's to signify that raloxifen has an anti-estrogen effect on endometrial tissue. That is to say it doesn't cause um, proliferation of endometrial tissue. Here's this kid antagonizing Anna. Raloxifen has an anti-estrogenic effect in breast tissue, signified by this kid grabbing at the stroller with these suggestive wheels of uh, breast tissue. On the other side, we also see some antagonism. So this crab-like glove is to remind us that tamoxifen is used to treat breast cancer as a first-line agent, um, but it also carries a risk of inducing cancer due to its estrogenic effect in other tissues such as in the uterus as we discussed. Let this relax sign over here on the relaxifen side remind you of the drug itself, relaxifen, um, and it is used to treat osteoporosis. So see just like in uh, the video at the museum, we have this relaxifen sign holding back this osteoclast classmate from getting around the fence and maybe breaking some of these bones due to his uh, enraged politic. Let this last uh, uh, serum drug, clomiphen, be represented by this girl forming the clumps here in the back. Now, clomiphen is used to induce ovulation. Um, so 
So that would be in people with an N ovulatory state. And that's rep represented by this sort of um, ovarian-like dirt uh, patch and these clumps, clumps of sort of dirt that she's formed to represent um, ova. And let this clump that she's thrown at the uh, professional or the pro uh, represent the mode of action of clomiphene is in the hypothalamus. So his arm here is supposed to represent the hypothalamus with his bag being a pituitary-like structure. Now how it works is it uh, basically causes an antagonistic effect in the hypothalamus um, thus causing the body to not essentially see the effective estrogen concentration, thereby um, causing more est estrogen to be released through this hypothalamic and pituitary axis. Um, so um, by blocking the gonadotropin releasing hormone receptors for estrogen, um, you effectively increase FSH and LH, causing a uh, further increase in serum estrogen. Let this examiner stain remind you of the drug examistain. Next, let this um, Lady Anna with the stroller remind you of anestrozole. Let Anna's stroller with the alphabet pattern remind you of letrozole. And all three of these drugs, examistain, letrozole, and anestrozole, are all aromatase inhibitors, which is why they're in this aroma cloud trying to sort of block out that stink. You see the examiner is effectively using his clothing pin on his nose um, to uh, be an aromatase inhibitor. So this reminds us that examistain is in fact aromat an aromatase inhibitor. Anna is also using a similar pin on the nose technique, uh, reminding us that anestrozole is also an aromatase inhibitor. Now, lastly, we have a letrozole. So, this stroller hood is shielding the baby, and so it's a reminder that letrozole is also an aromatase inhibitor. So, three aromatase inhibitors in this, in this video examistain, anestrozole, so Anna with her stroller and letrozole, so let, letters on the, the uh, stroller. Now let this pink ribbon in Anna's hair remind us of um, aromatase inhibitors blocking estrogen synthesis um, because aromatase is the last step in, in estrogen synthesis and so for this reason um, aromatase inhibitors can be used uh, to treat breast cancer. Now remember this was similar to tamoxifen, which is also used to treat breast cancer, um, and that was um, depicted by this crab-like gloved hand grabbing at Anna's hand and antagonizing her, um, symbolic of tamoxifen's antagonistic effect in breast tissue. Now over here on the far end, we see that someone's set down their, their sign in the grass, and it says, Lupro lied. So it seems like they're upset about how the professional has been uh, lying to both the clinic and the public. So let this sign luprolide remind you, luprolide remind you of luprolide. Now over to the professional here, you see he's clutching at his back as he's getting hit by one of those clouds of dirt. So let him clutching at his bag remind you that luprolide is a gonadotropin releasing hormone analog, so it's going to bind and block the receptors, um, thereby acting as a blockade on FSH and um, LH. And for this reason, uh, luprolide can be used to treat prostate cancer. In addition to that, it can be used to treat uh, breast cancer. So notice that he's using this white bulb um, in a similar manner as these guys using their clothing pin in order to block the aroma. Um, however, luprolide is not an aromatase drug, um, but it can be used similar to aromatase drugs to 
uh, treat breast cancer. So again, let the white bulb um, be a reminder of prostate cancer um, being treated with luprolide. Now on to some side effects. Um, if we zoom in here on this protester on the relax, Riloxifen side, we can see that he's got this ironic caution, don't talk, touch, um, because hot, signed t-shirt, and he seems to be really angry and hot over this uh, teacher telling him to relax. So let this be a reminder that serum drugs um, cause the sort of menopausal um, mimicking effects of hot flashes and um, other disturbances and these disturbances are going to be um, noted um, by these clumps of dirt hitting this re uh, relaxed teacher um, on the head reminding us of headaches on the muscle reminding us of myalgia and on this joint reminding us of um, arthritic pains and lastly um, these clumps have ended up knocking down her glasses and so we remember um, there's also visual disturbances. I believe uh, that should be it. Um, just to summarize, um, let me get this screen out to normal. So to summarize, we had these SEM drugs, um, they are effective um, in different tissues and they have different effects um, depending on that tissue. So some of those effects being estrogenic and some of those effects being anti-estrogenic. So remember this tan fence with the kids mocking behind it reminds us of tamoxifen and its effects were um, estrogenic with respect to bone, that is this fence protects these people from getting their bones broken by these crazy kids. Um, second, in, in endometrial tissue, it's estrogenic in that it causes and supports um, proliferation of that endometrium. And in breast tissue, it's antagonistic or it's anti-estrogenic, um, causing, um, not causing any, uh, or at least uh, not causing any significant estrogenic effects and for that reason, being used as a first-line agent for breast cancer. On the other hand, we had riloxifen, which had the similar um, estrogenic effect in bone. That is to say, this fence blocks this osteoclast classmate from coming by and breaking some of these people's bones with his hot politics. Um, however, in endometrial tissue, we had the opposite effect. So it's uh, a so-called anti-estrogenic effect in endometrial tissue. Um, but having a similar effect in breast tissue. Raloxifen is used um, to treat postmenopausal osteoporosis. Next we had the um, we had one more um, serum drug and that was um, clomphifen um, which was used to, to treat an ovulation. You remember from this clod what the mechanism of action was on the hypothalamus. Then we had the estrogen, the uh, excuse me, the aromatase drugs, those being the examistane, um, letrozole, and anestrozole being used to treat breast cancer. And then lastly, we had Lupro or Luprofessionnel representing Luprolide, and all of his lies are being protested here out on the lawn. Remember, Luprolide can be used to treat prostate cancer and due to its uh, effect on both testosterone and estrogen, it can be used to treat breast cancer. That's all. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.